Namaste and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Payal. In this channel, I make videos about home decor and DIYs. Today, I am back with two more DIY concrete projects. Without further ado, let's get started. For this project, I am gonna use this ice mold. It's supposed to make round eyes, which is fun, but I decided to use this mold to create round candle holders for today's concrete project. Here I am wrapping the tea light candles with cello tape and paper so that it gets easier to remove the candles once the cement dries out. I just hot glued the candles inside to avoid any movement later. I am using rapid set cement all today. It sets very fast and it's easier to work with. I also added terracotta cement pigment. And that's it. I poured the concrete mixture in the mold and closed the lid. It took more than usual time to dry, probably because it was all covered. I kept this piece overnight and when the concrete was totally dry, I removed the candles. Wrapping the candles with cello tape totally paid off. I used a piece of sandpaper to smoothen the surface and my round concrete candle holders are ready. You can literally make this under $1. If you are following me, you know that I have been using household stuff to make my concrete projects. This normal looking candle packet is going to be a perfect mold for my next concrete candle holder. You cannot believe how easy it turned out. I made 6 holes around half an inch apart using the candles. I decided to wrap the candles with plastic because the cement I am using gets really hot when it dries out. I'm using this Ziploc bags, but you can use any kind of plastic. If you don't put a protective cover, the candles might melt down inside and get messy. In order to avoid all of that, wrapping seemed like a good plan. Usually I would recommend to add one part water with four part cement, but here I'm making my concrete mixer a bit more liquid because I need to use this funnel to pour the mixture into the candle box. I keep this entire set as it is overnight to let it dry. I removed the plastic after the concrete slab was dry. It was already almost perfect but I sanded it for smoother finish. When it comes to concrete, I prefer to use 80 grit sandpaper for faster and smoother result. I had this wood piece from my other project. I am going to use this as kind of base or foundation for my candle holder. After sanding the wood piece, I stained it with black wood stain to bring out the contrast with the cement candle holder. I really like the combination of gold and cement. Instead of using gold paint, I wanted to try something new. I decided to use this gold glitter.
I really hope you liked today's video. If you did, then do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video in future. See you next week.